Hey Jackals, I always wanted to make a glowing gourd effect and today we'll do just that. Kinda. Now let's get this. There is a lot of videos on how to do a glowing orb effect, maybe not for DaVinci Resolve but definitely for After Effects so you can apply those methods for DaVinci Resolve. Now the one that I made is this one and it's very demanding on the PC. Let's just take a look at it in the fusion composition and this is a lot of nodes. So you can use something like Practical Illusion which is also free. Now this is the result that I got from the last video that I've showed you the Practical Illusion. The video looks like this and that's basically it. Now if you want to adjust when the animation starts, in this case with the sparks, now they don't show up, you have here start frame 65. So you can simply change this where this should be visible. And then simply go to render and do the rendering. And if you want to change how long this composition will last, simply go to the view project settings and adjust the duration here. And that's it. Now this is the glowing orb effect that I'll be using to apply to a video and I have it in the media pool. But if you want to know how to make this glowing orb effect in particular, leave me a comment down below and I'll make it. But just so you know, this effect is really demanding on the PC. And the video clip that I'll be applying it to is this one. I found it on Pexels. So let's just put this video clip here. Then we'll apply the glowing orb at the top. We won't obviously see anything, so with the clip selected, we'll be changing the composite mode. Simply select add, and maybe this is where the glowing group should pop, like this. And now I'd have to either track or just manually animate the position. So in this case, it looks okay at this point. And now I would simply maybe move it like that to get a quick effect. And if need be, I could also adjust the size. So this is the maximum size, but you know, I could always increase the size. So this is basically the effect. If you don't like the color, you can also go to the color page and you can adjust the hue and of course the tint. You can also adjust the temperature if you want to and the global colors but ideally the color that you want you would export it in, in this case the practical illusion because you can also change all of the colors. Now let's just see what happens if we change the composite mode back to normal. Now you can clearly see the difference by changing the colors but what happens if we apply a 3D cure to this node. And we simply remove the black and add an alpha output. What do we get? We get a complete mess. So that is why I don't want to remove the black, especially not with effects. And you want to use the composite mode and change this to alpha. And simply not use this. So no 3D here for this node. Simply disable this and use this as is. And to complete this effect, you'll want to add some sound effects. And that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content, and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.